An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it has come. Ezekiel 7, verse 6. And I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And Baraka thumbs all the brothers that started serving in his truth and pushing in his faith with sincerity. And the end is come for Esau's kingdom. The devil, which is the so-called white man. Okay. America is about to be destroyed by way of nuclear missiles. Okay, and I want to go ahead and get Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And that sinful kingdom is America, which is Babylon the Great. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Okay, Yahweh is going to destroy Babylon the Great, which is America off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay, because Yahweh is going to destroy America simultaneously. With delivering the elect. Okay. The chariots. What the so-called UFOs. Are actually. The chariots. The chariots of angels. And. Uh, when this place. Uh, Babylon the Great. America. When it be. When it's. Getting destroyed. Yahweh Shah is going to come back and deliver. The elect at the same time. Okay. And. The whole world is going to witness this happening. Okay. The whole world is going to witness. America. Being destroyed. And the elect being saved. Okay. Okay. And and if you can't see that these things are happening, then you marked for death, man. You just gonna die. And I'm and I'm talking to Israelites out here. You gonna die on this side. And this is Second Corinthians verse four. No, this is Slaki. This is Second Corinthians chapter four verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And if you can't understand, you can't understand these scriptures, you can't understand what I'm saying, then you lost. Okay? But if you can, if you can understand, this is Proverbs 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple passed on, and are punished. Okay? That means, if you of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to foresee these things. You're going to foresee Babylon the Great going down. You can you can see these prophecies that's coming to pass. You can see them pushing the mark of the beast. You can see that they coming closer and closer to war and rumors of war. And we're going to see these things. And you hide it yourself by, by praying, fasting. And doing the work. Okay. And this is uh, Malachi. Chapter 4. Verse 1. 
For behold, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And and that's what you people are. You stubble. You stubble to the truth. Because you can't see. You've been blinded. And that day cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor a branch. Because when he wipes America off the face of the earth with these nuclear missiles, ain't nothing going to be left. Ain't nothing going to be left. This place is going to be turned into a desert. Okay? This place is going to be... <laughs> this place is going to be destroyed, man. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? That day is great, so that none is like it. There has never been or never will be another great Destruction like this that's, that's about to take place to this place, America. Okay? Missiles, missiles just going to be raining down on this place. Okay? And the only way you can escape is if you are an Israelite. And you have to be of the elect. But you see, most people are not going to get this truth, man. Most of these people that I hear right now are just here to die. And I want to go ahead and get Palms, chapter 91. Chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. And that noisome pestilence is going to be those loud nuclear missiles. That's going to be destroying this place. Babylon the Great. Okay. And if you abide under the shadow of the almighty of Yahweh's side. By doing his work. By doing his work. Okay. And praying. Then surely he will deliver thee. And this is verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And when he say, and when this chap, and when this uh, scripture talks about he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. That's cold for the chariots, the so-called UFOs right there. That's going to be beaming the elect up. Okay? And this is verse 5. Shall thy not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day? nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday. 
A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side, but it shall not come nigh thee. Okay? Because when you're going when you're beamed up in these chariots, you're gonna have a bird's eye view of the destruction of Babylon Great. Okay? When you being beamed up into the sky, you're gonna see a thousand far by thy side, and then you're gonna look way off into the distance, and you're gonna see Another 10,000 by thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee because you being delivered, man, you're going to be saved out of this destruction. Only with, and this is verse 8, only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked. And, and that nuclear holocaust is going to be the reward of the wicked. Of the two-thirds and Esau. Esau's kingdom is going down. This is it. Okay? This is it for this damn devil. And he ain't on never rise again. Okay. And uh, that's all I want to go into. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles. And Salawam to the hopefully elect.